Shalom. I'm Rabbi Chaim Richman from the Temple Institute in Jerusalem. For the past two decades, the Temple Institute has been creating the vessels for the Holy Temple. The things that the Temple Institute thus far has created include the golden menorah, the golden table of the showbread, the golden incense altar, and the garments for the high priest. And this is actually like the first stage of the rebuilding of the Holy Temple itself. These things are not models or copies or replicas. They're actually real, they're kosher for use, they're made according to all of the biblical requirements, and they can be used in the coming temple. And I'd like to share with you this very moment, very exciting moment, when we are revealing for the first time the newest vessel that has been created now for use in the soon-to-be-rebuilt Holy Temple. This is the golden bazich, a special sensor which is used for frankincense that is placed on the golden table of the showbread. Just as we read in Leviticus chapter 24, there is a commandment, the God of Israel, for 12 specially baked loaves of bread to be placed constantly before the Divine Presence in the sanctuary, in the holy part of the Holy Temple. And on the table between these loaves, frankincense is to be placed, and these handcrafted vessels of pure gold created just for the fulfillment of this divine commandment. And of course, the beautiful thing about this aspect of the work of the Temple Institute is that this is actually the actualization, the reality of the divine commandment to rebuild the Temple. And while we may have a temporary obstacle in the rebuilding of the Temple, we are actually beginning today to fulfill the commandment of rebuilding through these vessels. And so this is actually a time when we see the redemption drawing closer and closer, the people of Israel fulfilling their role of the beginning of the rebuilding of the Holy Temple. And I just want to share with you a beautiful story of how this was created actually through the contribution of a very beautiful, very righteous, very spiritual individual who came forward, donated personal gold for the construction of these vessels, just as we find in Exodus chapter 25, where Hashem, the God of Israel, says to Moses, speak to the children of Israel and tell them, whoever has a heart that is willing to contribute towards the Holy Temple, let that person do so. And it's really interesting to note that many times throughout the Torah, the word heart is used in reference to the contributions for the rebuilding of the Holy Temple, because God is looking for those that are sensitive in spirit, that want to participate in the program, that believe that the temple must be rebuilt in order for the restoration of the honor and the sovereignty of God to be brought back to the world. And this is exactly what we're seeing in our time when very spiritual people are coming forward and actually participating personally in the rebuilding of the Holy Temple. And this is really, I think, on the timeline of history a very exciting moment, and thank you for sharing it with us.